Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Melody. I had just got done doing an inspection on my zucchinis and now I'm over here at the Easy Pick Gold Zucchini making my rounds and I wanted to show anyone out there in case you've never seen them before. This is what aphids look like. They lay their eggs like that. I am not used to getting aphids. This is more of a selective like heirloom type, this easy pick. And this is where I'm seeing the most. So these are the little eggs. What you would do is just grab them, pinch them. You can put a hole in your leaf and then just toss them down to the ground, but smush them. So I thought I would bring you along while we do an inspection. You need to check the top of your leaves. You need to check the underneath of your leaves. So that's what we're doing. Um, I think I'm going to bring it down because I think I see something. Let's see if I'm right. Bingo. There is another cluster. So, there are the babies. The eggs were laid, which means we have a slight problem now. So, what do you do, really? Nothing. Just check them. Um, from June through, like, the first week of August is when they're usually the worst. And you need to come out every day, whether it's in the morning or at night and check the upper part of the leaves, the underneath side of the leaves, and that is kind of what I'm doing right now. So, where did I just see that at? Okay, here's two spots. Let me zoom in a little bit. We have a cluster right there and the cluster right here. So, I will literally just Rip the leaf off, smush them, smush them, smush them, and throw it down to the ground. Um, so you may have some plants. Look at this. This is about, let me tell you what time it is. This is about, mm, 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 let's say, about five o'clock. These were checked. And... There are so many on this particular zucchini. I checked all my other zucchini, none. This one has quite a bit. So again, there they are. Try to zoom in for you so you could see what they look like. The, you know, the bug does its dirty deed and it lays right on the leaf so grab it pinch it out it's okay if you have holes in your leaves just smush it in between your fingers and then throw it down on the ground and some other type of bug will come along and eat them um let's keep searching there we go there's another cluster Grab them, pinch them. You can rip that little piece off. Sometimes you may want to go all the way down the stem because look at this. This, I'm not sure, is a ladybug right now. So I don't know what to do because it doesn't look like one. So if I see it, I'll try to kill it. I don't try to mess with the beneficial bugs. This is an all-organic garden. So when you come down to... Let me see. I might have to zoom you out a little bit. When you come down to the stem, if you follow it, like I just did, they will go in the crease. They're sneaky little buggers. They will lay their eggs even all the way in between this... Uh, I'll just call it vine and this main stem of the leaf right there turn it I'm trying to get you a good shot 
and that's why you have to really get in there and get them off you have to make sure you get them all so I would rather have some holes in my plant leaves than have the eggs so you check the front part of your leaf and then you flip it over and you look at the back and then follow the main part right here don't mind my dirty fingers I've been busy gardening with no gloves there's where I found a bunch I picked off follow this stem all the way down to see if you see any so let's see if we can find some more I have a look and if I find them I will show you I think that this is now I've never had aphids ever um, in any of my gardens I just feel like this particular um, zucchini seems to get a lot of these. You'd be really lucky if you can find the mama bug or the papa bug. So, check your leaves. And then make sure you flip it over. Take a look. Because they will lay them in between the cracks like I just showed you. Okay, so there's none on that one. Let me back you up. One thing I can say is I've been using everything to try to kill these. I'm going to make a concoction and as soon as I do it, I am going to do the video for it. So these things are on my nerves. They're usually in my sunflowers. Now I just took care of them inside of my eggplants and I see another one in there. Um... I just saw that. Get out of here. See, and then it bounces. They jump. Those Chinese lanterns are out in force. So let me lower you back down because I'm going to bend down. And keep inspecting. This is the one that was completely knocked out of the bed. This is the other thing I did today was... Put an extra clump of soil on the bottom of the root because it tried to come out of the bed from the storm. So let's keep looking. Move you back here. It's that time of the day. The dogs to start barking. Okay. I could have sworn I saw a leaf that had a bunch, and I'm trying to find it. I check the outside, I check the veins, I flip it over, and I follow it all the way down. And it's definitely something that you have to set the time out to do. Um, it's very important, especially if you want to keep getting a harvest of your zucchinis or squashes um, preferably like in the morning and then you can come out again at night to check so that is what I'm doing and figured I'd bring along such an exciting buggy job I don't worry about the spots on the leaves that's fine just check the top now I know I saw one that had a bunch I'm not sure if that's the one that I got. Every day, come out, look, look at the top part of the leaf, flip it over, look at the next part of the leaf. I'm like trying to figure out where I saw that leaf at. Here it is. Well, here's one. Can you see this? There they are. Another group of them. So 
So, I'm sorry that I have to keep adjusting his butt. I have some new gardeners on my channel, and I think that this is very beneficial um, for someone to see. They might not know. It's just a zucchini thing. There's the little bugs. I can't get this tripod to stand to save my life today. I'm so sorry for probably making you all nauseate it. Let me try just going like this. Hold on a second. <laughs> To understand the back part of my garden is not so level. So there they are, right there. And we, we just grab them. And then if you make a hole in the leaf, just motion with your fingers and throw them down to the ground. Should you be afraid of throwing them down on the ground? No, absolutely not. And don't forget, now that you saw a cluster on the back side, you want to follow the vein all the way down to the stem and take a look. So, you may have to do this once in the morning, come back later at night, and they'll be right back trying to lay their eggs all over. I just so happen to be out here using Dawn Just Soap and Hot Water and for the Japanese lantern. And I'm going to make this bowl of concoction up because Google's little Dawn dish soap and hot water is not, it's not working at all, to be honest with you. So, I'm checking the lower leaves right now. I'm looking around. So, that's pretty much what you have to do. You can scrape it off with your fingernail as well. If you prefer to do it that way, I would rather have a hole in the leaf of my zucchini. And do it that way. So let's come over to this side of the plant. We can get a spot. Oh, well, hello, tomato. Black cherry tomato. I am going to lower you back down because I'm going to check the lower. Is there a reason that made me think to do this? No, it's just something that you should just incorporate in your everyday as long as you're gardening with zucchini. It's like that. Plus, this also took a major beating from the storm. So, I don't know how much longer it's going to last. It has some powdery mildew and I'm not going to fuss with that. And if you have a bad one on the stem, pull it off. You could have a zucchini on there that just might not have been pollinated correctly. You know, it's funny. It's not really funny, but I was just watching the eight, this 1870s homestead, I think it's called. Rachel, um for a few minutes after live last night and she was doing the same thing but that's not why I did it I'm going to take this one off I can tell you that I just was doing an inspection on my whole row of zucchinis because that's extremely important I'm not seeing any over here I'm going to keep looking because once they hatch you're going to have a huge problem on your hands if you don't get to them before they hatch. You will have a ton of the bugs all over. This is real good. I think I may have checked them all. There seem to be a lot more on that side. I am trying to save this as best as possible. Okay, other thing to do is to go in, sorry for the sun, you might have to go in between some leaves, so bear with me. You might want to go in, when you see that there's zucchini on there, I did earlier, one was not good, and let me check this one. 
Nope, that's pretty solid. You just want to make sure that you don't have any mushy ones, which... Oh, there's a mushy one right there. And it's in a bad spot. We are going to get it out. Because that also is not good for your plant. And of course, it's in a bad spot. So, hold on, folks. I might fall into the leaves. Let me get this out of here. If I get... Can I even get it out? Normally you can twist it. The mushy part just fell off, but I don't want to leave the top attached. Okay. Dingo. Sorry. That was in an awkward spot. Here was the top that I had to break off because this bottom is completely all mushy which very well could be from the rain or it may not so do not leave um any zucchinis on that are not good just feel them you'll know feel them from the top to the bottom let's go over on this side i'm starting to feel buggy like itchy when you have to climb into a plant so this one here is not doing no, this was not pollinated correctly, so this one is coming off. You can see it's a little too, sorry, it's a little too squishy, so that comes off. The other tip is to take your finger from the stem and see if it feels soft. Now this doesn't, it still feels hard, because sometimes if it feels really soft, the worm could be in there, but nope. Feels pretty good, so I'm still trying to get some more of these and uh, clean up around it, do an inspection. You should make that a habit, either every morning or every night, take off the bad leaves and, you know, keep it as clean as possible, disease free, so that you get more of a harvest. Nobody wants just three, do they? So. That doesn't look too good in there, but it's hard as a rock. Um, this one back here is not any good. It's pushing right onto the noodle. I'm taking it off. It's waterlogged. And it will give the rest an opportunity to maybe make it. That one go. And when you pull one of the stems off, a lot of liquid comes out of it. What I do, I just pulled it from there, take some of the soil and just sprinkle it over top, and where you just pulled it to kind of make the scent go away. So I'm trying to keep this one going, even though we keep having these atrocious storms. Um, let me go around. So, powdery mildew. I don't treat that. This is, like I said, I'm not getting chemicals for that. If I lose the plant, I lose the plant. And that's how I feel about that. Um, I will treat things organically as possible. So, I am trying my best to keep this one going for a while. And, oh, those bugs. So, yeah, that's what you do when it comes to aphids. Now, you see this has new leaves coming. There's new growth. So, don't automatically rip them out. Um, give them a thorough look over. And if they look pretty good, keep it in there. Now, if it really looks bad, my suggestion to you is don't waste time. Get it out. And put it another plant in that you should already have growing and um okay last time i'm moving you down because now i'm sitting on the ground Ugh, it's exhausting being a gardener isn't it um yeah so what i was saying is you should already have a backup plant going now this one i obviously do not because this is the one that i purchased it's the uh zucchini easy pick gold supposedly it's supposed to be like the best um, little disease resistant and this one has the most amount of aphids on it 
and bingo. Speaking of aphids, let me hold you up. There are more right there. So, crazy. But come out in the morning, come out at night, and remove them to keep your plant alive longer. If you have really bad leaves that are dead, just cut it off. If it has the mildew on it, just cut it off. Um, and then I try to mask the scent by putting dirt over top of the root. The root is there, it's in there. Um, not this, this is just from the soil. But the rest of the plant is out of the bed and that happened because of the storms. But if you see right there, there is new growth going. So you can cut off some of the leaves, stay on top of the bugs and you will do just fine. So that's what aphids look like. That's how far down they will go alongside of the veins. So do be careful and stay on top of your zucchini so that you get a good harvest. Like I said earlier, I'd rather have a bunch of holes in my plant. It's not from anything eating it. It's from me pulling off the bugs, the buggies. So that is my video today all about this easy pick gold zucchini. Um, what do I think? I don't know yet. I'll get back to you on that one. Um, one, I can say this one got aphids and all my other zucchinis did not. As you can see, I'm picking them off and I haven't tasted one yet. So as soon as I taste it, I will let you know if it's worth it. I am going to try to save some of the seeds and give it another whirl come next year. But if this plant keeps giving me lots of trouble, I would be pulling it out and I would drop another zucchini. And the only reason why this is over here with the eggplants is because this particular kind cannot be over there where the zucchini patch is if you want to save the seeds. That I do know. I did some research on it. So that is my video. A couple different tips and tricks on some zucchini and what to look for when to do it which is in the morning and at night stay on top of it um, if you're an organic gardener like i am i don't use anything except my fingers and i think i checked everything so i will recheck again tomorrow morning and i will also cut off like this leaf here i will follow it and most likely take this leaf here off so i'm not just going to rip the whole plant out because as you see, we have new growth, we have new beautiful leaves, but if your plant is taking a beating, like badly, rip it out and drop another plant in the hole. Always be prepared on cucumbers and zucchini. That's my theory. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it was helpful. That will be just put right in the trash can, never leave a pile laying around either. That's my other point. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it looks gorgeous. It's doing okay. Um, and I figured I would bring you along to aphid hunt. So that's what they look like. That's the routine you should get into. And I hope that this was helpful for any new gardeners. And, um, you know, we have some gnats flying around the bottom. But overall, um, that's kind of my maintenance that I do. And I just did that with all my zucchinis down there nothing not even one leaf has bugs on it not one so that is my video today i hope that this was helpful and um yeah i'll keep you updated on this particular plant specifically um as the growing season goes along but i hope that you're doing well i hope that you are getting a lot out of your gardens and i bless you and i will see you on the next video bye bye everyone